Good day, YouTube. It's Brett here from Overtime Gaming with you once again, and welcome back with the next episode of our WWE Universe mode. Today is the Ring of Honor edition. Of course, that is going to be out every Thursday, and we start the week off. We've got a huge, huge event today in Ring of Honor, just like we did in Raw on Monday. But we start it off with Dragon Gate USA Open Champion Johnny Gargano facing the Zombie Princess Jimmy Jacobs. This has the potential to be a great match. Both wrestlers fantastic and um, could really, really put on a strong event in this one. Now, I've got some news with this series to tell you. Um, I've changed it a little bit to get us some more cores. I have the game both on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Um, and on, I'm going to have Raw on the Xbox 360, so we can have all 50 core spots for WWE. So we're going to have the whole WWE roster, not the whole NXT roster, but a whole WWE roster with a few NXT wrestlers like the Wyatt Family, like Adrian Neville, Corey Graves, just a few like that. Um, I do have to keep around 20 core spots open, uh, 21 even core spots open for this thing I'm doing for New Breed Wrestling. Uh, association, of course, the wrestling association that I've been posting videos for the last few weeks. Um, I do have to keep some spots open for them because I'm running their fantasy promotion. So that's why I've had to switch my ideas for this. And the Ring of Honor series is going to be on my PlayStation 3. So they will run completely separate, uh, but they will come into the same series on this channel. Um, and because of that, we can have 50 core spots for Ring of Honor as well. So we're going to have a 50-man roster for Ring of Honor. I've pretty much got that sorted. I've got three core spots left. Um, I'll show you the roster in the coming video. And uh, you can tell me if there's any other wrestlers you want. But I think we've got a really talented roster for Ring of Honor and WWE, actually. It's going to be really exciting. As you see, Johnny Gargano hits the Hurts Donut for his finisher and picks up the win here against Jimmy Jacobs. So we start the show off with a Johnny Gargano win. Good match. Um, very short, I must admit. Of course, it is only highlights, but it was a short match anyway. But Johnny Gargano picks up the win against the Zombie Princess as we move on to our second bout of the evening, which is going to be a high-flying bout. And that's the Future of Flight Ricochet from Dragon Gate USA. If you don't know who he is, I definitely recommend you go check him out on YouTube. He is absolutely incredible. Going out against the last Dragon, ACH. ACH, of course, an actual Ring of Honor wrestler. He is one half of Adrenaline Rush, which, of course, is him and Tadarius Thomas. I couldn't find a Tadarius Thomas core. So if anyone can find a Tadarius Thomas core on PlayStation 3... Let me know, send me the details and I'll download him so we can have Adrenaline Rush. But for right now, both men are going to be singles wrestlers and this is going to be a top, top match. There's a couple of other cores I would like you guys to look for me for on PS3 as well. Or if anybody can make them, just let me know. Um, I'm looking for a Shane Strickland. He's a Dragon Gate USA wrestler. I had him on my Xbox, but unfortunately there isn't one on PlayStation. Um, so I want a, strain, a Shane Strickland. I would love a... Um, to Darius Thomas as I was saying and then other and any other Ring of Honor wrestlers that you don't think I have let me know in the comment section below I'll let you know if I've got them and if you know a good core leave the descriptions for that one as well but this could really be a high flying matchup as you see Ricochet starts it already with a dive over the top rope onto ACH but ACH with the huge Hurricane Rana to the running Ricochet and puts him through the announce table. Ricochet now with the Hurricane Rana off the top rope to ACH and the up yours sign to ACH is just an insult. As he goes for his signature move, the shooting star press. Ricochet really getting it going now but ACH making a comeback here with the big bulldog. Hopefully Ricochet can come back into this though. Ricochet has a huge potential as he hits the cutter. Look at that. Look at this again. Just spikes ACH on his head and that could kill him. But <laughs> Ricochet coming back now. He's looking for the top, top flight move as he goes for a 630 rotation sent on. But ACH just moves out of the way and then hits Ricochet with the huge spear. That could have ended it for Ricochet, but Ricochet does come back and now started hitting ACH with all sorts of moves. And ACH is having it beaten to him and a huge drop kick there from Ricochet. And Ricochet lining the big move up over the top rope and it's the huge flip over the ropes. And that could be the end of it for ACH as the shooting star press again off the top rope on ACH. This time to the floor outside the ring. 
And now a huge Frankensteiner on um, ACH by Ricochet as he looks to be trying to finish this match as he hits his signature move, the big suplex. Now we're trying to go for something big onto ACH who comes back with a high flying kick off the top rope. And now looks to be trying to do something of his own. But Ricochet reverses it and hits the cutter again on ACH. That could be the end of the match. But it's not. ACH keeps coming back into this one. But a roll up here from Ricochet. One, two, three. That is the end of it. R ACH takes the loss on the roll up. Ricochet, who was dominant the whole match. Picks up the win in this really, really good matchup. Solid matchup. Could have been better, I must admit. But there was a lot of good moves from both men. ACH kept trying to get back into the matchup. But unfortunately, Ricochet was just too strong. And just kept taking it to him. And just knocked ACH off his perch. And actually could move Ricochet up in the title contention for the Ring of Honor TV title a lot further. As we move on to tag team action between two of the top tag teams in the world. CNC Wrestling Factory, which are the two black guys for you guys that don't know. Um, Caprice Coleman and Cedric Alexander. Um, this is actually one of my favourite... Um, tag teams actually in professional wrestling and this is one of the reasons why I switched Ring of Honor to the PlayStation rather than Xbox and that's because Xbox didn't have any cores for Cedric Alexander or Caprice Coleman and these two were available on PlayStation and I really wanted the two of them. They're going up against the Young Bucks, Nick and Matt Jackson who have been in TNA, they've been in Ring of Honor, they've been in New Japan Wrestling, they're in Dragon Gate USA. Um, two huge wrestlers they're fantastic wrestlers and got heaps of charisma and talent fans all over the world love them they are a true tag team and really could pose a threat to the tag team champions in t in ring of honor which of course the tag team champions are red dragon or as i call them irish fishing which is bobby fish and kyle o'reilly but both both teams here are looking to push themselves up in number one contendership for the tag team titles here in Ring of Honor. So definitely will be looking to pick up the win here. As you see big moves so far from Cedric Alexander or Caprice Coleman. I can't remember which one it is. But he gets thrown off the top by the Jack Wonder Jackson brothers. But then goes for the big rope flip onto Nick Jackson I believe it is. And great, great move there. As he then does the inverted Frankensteiner onto the floor there. As you see the floor is not padded out there. He then does the big rolling power bomb from the inside of the ring to the outside of the ring. Coleman is just going absolutely nuts here. And I believe it was actually Cedric Alexander. I'm very sorry there, guys. I got confused. Um, but you see Caprice Coleman inside the ring now. He's taking it to the Jackson with the big, big bulldog, running knee bulldog, much like CM Punk there. He's really getting something going right now. Looking just to shut down the Jacksons, the Young Bucks, and just end it here. He's going for all sorts of big moves as he hits the signature, which seems to be the 619. That is not what it is in real life, so I've got to change that in the move set. Huge 619 there, and then the big flop off the top rope. He's then setting him up for the attitude adjustment, the AA, John Cena's move, which again, I'm going to have to change to his real finisher. Um, but you see, he's going to end it here, and there it is. He then goes for the pinfall. One, two, three. Free CNC Wrestling Factory pick up the win exactly how they wanted to start things. And does that move them up into a one, number one contender spot? We'll have to see what Red Dragon say about that next week. But so far, a great performance by Caprice Coleman and Cedric Alexander. Couldn't have asked for much more as we move on to a TV title match now. And that's between the TV champion Adam Cole and the number one contender Matt Tavern. Matt Tavern, of course, is the real TV champion. He beat Adam Cole in real Ring of Honor. So... He'll be looking to win back his title in this series. Adam Cole will be looking to retain his title now. You see Cole taking it to Tavern on in the early stages here. Hitting him with a number of suplexes. Um, really trying to do some big power move damage on Tavern. But Tavern coming back with suplexes of his own. But Adam Cole now with the running knee uh, drop kick to the head. Really does some damage to a man's head when you drop kick him like that. He then spikes Tavern on his head again. He's doing damage to set him up for possibly the flip power driver as you see just there. 
And now, maybe the double tombstone. And it is, you see, one tombstone onto the tavern's neck. The rotation, and then the second tombstone. That could have been it, but still, Tavern kept coming back at Cole. But Cole, again, attacking the neck of Matt Tavern. Matt Tavern couldn't get back into this match. But he d tries here with the big rotation DDT with a reversal. But unfortunately, Adam Cole just too strong. Hits him with the big German suplex. But again, Tavern with the rotation DVD DDT. Just trying to do damage to Adam Cole. But here we go. Adam Cole looking to end it now. Takes Tavern to the top rope. Going for the Panama Sunrise. That flip power driver off the top rope. If you've never seen it, go on YouTube and watch it. Look at that move. It is absolutely incredible. There's no way Tavern's tap, um, kicking out of that one. As you see the free count. Adam Cole retains his title. Matt Tavern really didn't put much, up much of a fight. Um, I was looking for a better match than that. But you see the two men embrace at the end of the match. Showing respect for each other. Tavern has to show respect for Adam Cole after a match like that. Adam Cole's moves in that match shows exactly why he is so good. So we move on to the main event of the evening. And this is what I meant by star studded. This is for the world title. The Ring of Honor world title. The current champion is Jay Briscoe. And he's going up against Jay Lethal now. Huge matchup. Both men looking for the win here. And Jay looking to retain his title. Briscoe looking to win the title again. Of course, he lost it to Kevin Steen in real life. But he'll be looking for a title chance now. As he's got the, um, the single leg Boston Crab locked in on Jay Briscoe. He's had it for a while now. Briscoe does manage to reverse it. Of course, Jay Briscoe won half of the Briscoe brothers. Has turned into more of a singles wrestler of late and really showing some dominance here as he goes for the jackhammer um, suplex as he does the double drop kick into the corner on Jay Lethal. Of course, the Briscoes have been linked with a move away from Ring of Honor. It looks like they've been released from their contracts when their contracts run out at Ring of Honor and will be joining WWE. But that's not 100% um, true right now because... They could re-sign with Ring of Honor or they could just be looking to do a bit of a break from top draw wrestling. So may not be moving to Ring of Honor just yet. We'll have to wait and see. Of course, Jay is the real world champion. So I'm not sure they'd want to release him to his contract right now. But Jay Briscoe taking it to Jay Lethal right now, the Black Machismo. As, what's he setting up here? He's setting up for the oh my god moment. He spears him through the barricade there in the corner. Jay Briscoe looking to do some real damage to Jay Lethal right now. Lethal didn't know what hit him there and he's just gone through the corner of the barricade. Nothing Lethal could have done to that one. And Briscoe looking on top here as he does the spring sp springboard frog splash there onto the back of Jay Lethal. He's moving Lethal onto the top of the announce table now. Is he going to look to put him through it? And he's going for the DDT and DDTs Lethal through the table. It could be near the end now for Lethal. Lethal has taken one hell of a beating. He's been put through a barricade, now put through the announce table. What more damage can Briscoe do as he now hits his signature on the outside, the unpadded ring area. That has to do some damage to the back and the neck of Jay Lethal. As Briscoe is throwing Lethal into the ring now. Is he looking to finish it? He's going for the springboard. Frog Splash once again. But this time Lethal moves out the way. Could this be a comeback for Lethal? No, it's reversed by Briscoe. And he could be setting up. And he is the Dr Jay Driller. His patented signature. Look at that move. It's absolutely incredible. And that could be the end. One, two, three. Jay Briscoe retains his title against Jay Lethal. A good title reten a retention. As you see here, he celebrates and the Rock Riders come out. That is Homicide and Loki. Don't know what's going on here. Of course, Loki and Homicide in the Rock Riders. And Jay Briscoe in the, in the Briscoe's Brothers. Not sure what's going on there, guys. We'll have to find out in the next episode. Hope you've all enjoyed it. Any um, advice for members of the roster or any matches you'd like to see, leave in the comment section below. And I'll definitely get them out for next week, guys. Now, you have to wait until Monday for the next episode, which will be the Raw episode. And then Thursday will be the Ring of Honor episode. But as I was um, saying, there will be some changes in this. And that is because, of course, I've got them on two separate consoles. I'll tell you a little bit about that now, just before we end the video. Um... 
we will have separate pay-per-views now because it means I can have a Ring of Honor pay-per-view and a Raw pay-per-view. We'll have them in the same week. Um, we'll just... I'll put the videos out a day apart. So Ring of Honor can have Saturday pay-per-views and um, Raw, Raw can have Sunday pay-per-views like they do in real life. So I think that will be a good move for that. It also means we can have too many in the bank matches now because we've got two pay-per-views. So that's exactly what we've wanted. Um... If you want me to change any of the pay-per-view names or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And peace out, YouTube. We're heading into overtime.